everyone. Welcome to the podcast, Pancake Podcast. Pancake! I'm Gus. Pancake. That's going to be Gavin. Pancake. That's Barbara. I'm Jeff. And I'm Gus. We're making pancakes. It's Pancake Podcast. Oh, this podcast is brought to you by DoorDash. I forgot to say that. Thanks, DoorDash. How often do you have a pancake podcast? Once a year. Shrove Tuesday. And it's you've had this how many years now? Uh, like six or seven? Is this and I'm, this is the first one I've been invited to. Whose fault is that? I tell you what I, what? I was gonna say, it's so Bernie's fault. Bite myself. We got all kinds of pot, all kinds of podcasts. We got all kinds of pancakes. We got normal pancakes. We got vegan pancakes. Don't jump! Got Gavin pancakes. Uh, we got uh, keto pancakes. And we're gonna try to make spicy pancakes. Oh god, spicy. is that why you have that one chip challenge thing? We got some cayenne pepper. No. We got some jalapenos. As, as much as you want. Okay. It, we, we have not mixed it yet. We can make a spicy pancake. What's up, Gavin? Is this your What's vegan? Damp? What? Something damp? Something's damp. Ah. Did you pee yourself while running over here? I don't think I'm damp. Uh, you want a pancake? Who wants a pancake? I want a pancake. What do you want? And, uh, I'm gonna do his because you just had one. You gave me the test pancake. But it was. I was doing what, you a what do you, favor. What do you want, Barbara? What do you want in it? Um, you can make Gavin's first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I ask you? Can I ask you a favor? What? I'm. I've got saddled with the keto pancakes because I have been keto, but am yeah. not. I'm currently fat. Uh, yeah. I'll put myself at the bottom of the list, and I will make you, you keto can, pancakes. You can make your own too. Okay, I was gonna say. I just, Where's just, the water? Nah, I just put me at the bottom of the pancake well, list. Well, no, you have After a fucking grill. To, like, do, do, I'm gonna be cranking out these keto cakes, but I want to taste a real pancake. I'll, get, at one I'll point. get you water right now. All right, thank you. That's a What's soundboard it? is really in no. depth. What do you want in it, Gavin? Chalky chips. You want to put them on yourself? Yeah. 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 I'll pour your base, and then you uh, you put your toppings on. I legitimately have to say, I think this is my favorite time of year. Like people like Christmas or Halloween or Easter or whatever. I like Pancake Podcast Day. Well, it's not, well, it's not it's, nationally celebrated. It is a rarity that Gus Sarola lifts a finger to help another human being yep. in any way whatsoever. So having Gus make you food? In my defense, the broadcast level. crew did most of the work. <laughs> they assembled all of this and brought all this out. Also, I will say, I feel like Gus is a lot nicer recently. And you more, think it's the veganism? And more considerate of other people's feelings. Kind of what like ha- Gavin, What too. has changed around Why here we... that would make me nicer? <laughs> <laughs> Something happened on the podcast. <laughs> Not quite sure what, but is something it, changed. Is it, is it that I've started to come on more often and that's, you love me so much that you're excited it. and in a good mood because yes. your old buddy Jeff is here? Exactly. Yeah. That one looks like Vom. That's a vegan pancake. Oh. It Wait, looks like a football. What's so, the difference between the two? Uh, there's one's no vegan, egg or milk. <laughs> Egg what do they use in place of right. deliciousness? Um, they use whole wheat flour, unbleached, unbleached wheat flour, organic coconut sugar, pea protein, brown rice flour, vital wheat gluten, leavening, potato starch, cassava starch, salt, spices, anthem gum, monk fruit. It's a lot of ingredients. Hey, you know that old yes. adage that like when you're done with a horse, you send it to the glue factory? Oh, thank you. I need to see the water get here. Yeah. In your estimation, is that still a truth statement? Like, do you think that still happens? That we make glue out of horses? Yeah. I thought it's gorillas now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, I asked because I went to Hawaii recently, and I went horseback riding, and uh, the horse they saved from the dog food factory. Apparently, they sell old horses to dog food factories, and they chomp them up and make dog food out of them. Dogs eat horse? Yeah. Do you think dogs are aware of horses and that they're eating horses? Do you think they don't dogs, think, I don't think they give a shit. Do you think racing dogs run faster if they eat racing horse? That's a, that's a good question. What did I miss? I was shaking this for like two seconds. <laughs> We're talking about speaking of shaking. Dogs eating horses. <laughs> yeah, it's some fun this morning, Barb. Listen, man. I don't want to talk about that. Gavin, you missed an Achievement Hunter video today that you would have enjoyed. Both me and what was Gus it? had a great time. Why wasn't it in my calendar? There was That's a Versus, asked. you know, <gasps> the new season of Versus Age versus Core. That's hilarious. Uh, and uh, this one was Jenga, so they just had to play Team Jenga. But they had those electrodes on their arms, and I got to push the button to shock them. <laughs> it, like, it wasn't yeah, just it was really shock. fun. It was like contracting it our muscles. Muscle so spasm. yeah, you knew what you wanted to do with your arm, but your arm wasn't doing what you wanted it to do. <laughs> yes, please. I made a spilly. Your arms were doing what I wanted them to do. Yes. It was fucking hilarious. It was it was painful as shit. Yeah. And I don't want to give anything away about the video, but there's one person from Achievement Hunter who was doing this with us who I think is a sadist. Oh, I think <laughs> you, everyone already it? knows who that is. Because, yeah. because this Gavin, person was guess not is that reacting. Gavin, one guess is that Hunter is a potentially a sadist. Potentially a sadist. Well, I, I've never seen Michael react to any electric shock. Well, it's not Michael. It's not oh, Michael. Okay. 
He's not a sadist. Choco chips are who, who in a team hunter might be the closest to being an actual psychopath. Uh, Ryan. If, how about there you go? Yeah, there you go. I was about to say, if one person from a team hunter turned out to be a serial killer this whole time, who would it be? Definitely Ryan. Yeah, being in a team hunter would be the perfect cover for being a serial killer. You like traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always like in a different city. Always got a selection of weapons to choose from. Right. I think the, you're on some FBI list now. Probably. Are you burning my chips? I think your chips are. My chocolate are you chips? making like a Mickey Mouse? See, no. I was gonna make a Mickey Mouse. That's yeah. adorable. Because they're all on the end. We should have put a little layer on top. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Didn't think. Oh, well. we'll know for the next one. Yeah. Uh, Shrove Tuesday. How many have have we done of this? We we started this at the old studio, right down south at six three six. We did. Yeah. I want to say the first one was in twenty thirteen. That's about right. Because you you made fun of me in twenty twelve. Was it? Hmm. So we've only been doing this seven years. It feels like longer. Well, it's my favorite time of year. Do you like this better or the steak off? Why is it your favorite time of year? Just because of the pancakes? Pancakes. I just like, I love breakfast food. You can make them anytime. They're available year round. You can, but do you want to? It's a lot of work and a lot of mess for. You could just buy some pre made. Instead of coming here where everyone gets all the ingredients and I can make them for free. <laughs> then chop everything up. Let me, while we're on the, the subject of pancakes, <laughs> this is so what do you prefer, pancakes or waffles, and why? I, I think I prefer waffles. I like a little more crispness. I think I'm going to promote, I'm going to. Predict this. I think this is going to be one of the most divisive topics with our audience. I like the storage of a waffle. It's true, and the the capacity for flavor. I like pancakes better. Okay. Well, a you're wrong, and b Gavin and Gus are correct, and they gave all the correct reasons, which is a it's crispy because of all the ridges. You get extra crisp on yep. every bite, and b it holds the butter in place. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you can I have little liquid butter reservoirs. I don't have butter on my you're waffles. Crazy about or... butter. I love butter. I'm from Alabama, Thanks. man. That's all we do. Butter? Yeah. I thought there was also racism. Yeah, it's that. It's it's Paula Dean and uh, it's, it's Paula, David Duke, I guess. It's yeah. Paula Dean, David Duke, and fucking your cousin, <laughs> <laughs> Alabama. That's yeah, on the yeah. state flag, right? And there's probably some Epstein in there, too, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever eaten just a, a lump of butter? Yes. What was the occasion? I wanted to eat, see what it tasted like to eat a lump of butter. How are, was you, it? are you like me, where if you uh, okay. have bread at a restaurant? And you're supposed to like cut it in half and put butter on it. Do you just like keep cutting slices and adding more butter to each slice? Here's the deal. Or like every time you take a bite, you add butter in the bite good. that you just good. took. I don't add butter to bread at a restaurant in that fashion because it feels like a whole production. Mm. And in the moment, it just seems like I'm trying to put a lot of the focus at the table on me and what I'm doing. And so I try to be as inobtrusive as possible. <laughs> so I go like sans butter. Coming I down. go sans butter at all restaurants when there's as bread. As much as you like butter. I know. Yeah. This is my first time You're eating willing? a vegan pancake here. I want to point out. Okay. Got some vegan. Uh, you don't make them at home? No. I want a real time review. Vegan whipped cream? It's because he likes waffles better. So why would he make them? Yeah. Hell yeah. I like that sound. It's satisfying. All right, let's see. Skeet, skeet. What's this shit all about? I'm going to guess it's going to be pretty good, actually. Just like a normal pancake. There you go. Yeah. The, 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 the uh, like keto ones taste pretty normal, too. I have a different brand of keto ones at home, but they're about the same. Do you want a pancake? Mm. I'm going I'm to make one here in a minute. Okay. And that minute is as soon as you get away from the grill. <laughs> So hurry up. <laughs> no, take your time. I don't know if this grill is very hot, though. I'm telling you. It made a very light Mickey Mouse. It sounds like excuses to me. Is this ready to go? Sure. Do we have people at home making pancakes? <gasps> Show us your pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Mardi Gras, right? I'll some... give you some beads if you show me your pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> is it Mardi Gras? That's uh, what Shrove uh, Tuesday is. It's like Fat Tuesday. Right. You'd think after seven of these I would know that by now. It's okay, Barbara. No, you're sitting down and squishing it. I, dro something? I dropped a banana in between the couch cushions. How much money to eat this? We've all been there. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's right. it's people's butt crumbs. Covered we, in hair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start working on this spicy pancake here. How spicy can ooh, a pancake ooh. be? Oh. I like that. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. Yeah, he'll eat it no matter what. <gasps> do you want to make it? <laughs> I just no, I don't want to hurt this you. This is good. So you're gonna use, you the, Car the, spicy you're gonna use stuff? that Carolina Reaper? What do you Reaper? have here to help to hurt me with? We have some Tabasco. We got some cayenne. We got this Mad Dog. I was warned: do not use more than a drop or two of that. No, no, you can use more. It's fine. Eric, no, nope. damn, we're you're gonna okay. lose him for the entire podcast. That's, That's a soundboard dummy. Uh, you should use it with extreme care. Jalapenos. Used at my own risk. I fully understand the potential danger. Let me see it. You could actually hurt yourself. This damn. Is <laughs> 
I am not inebriated or otherwise <laughs> not sound yeah, mind. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, sorry. And uh, some fresh cut jalapenos here as well. Okay. I'd go for a spicy one. Do, do your worst. No, no. Gavin. <laughs> What's this goggle on this thing? Does he it said do your worst. Um, Have you ever had spicy stuff before? Like really spicy. What's really spicy? Like your mouth goes numb. One and million Scoville. Is it? That's it. Yeah, it says over one million. That's uh, grammatically incorrect. It's I mean, more than one million. I almost collapsed and died when I had that jalapeno that one time. <laughs> <laughs> that I forgot like, about that. That's rude. So tame. I thought I was here. gonna die. Get Wait, are color? you ruining the rest of that pancake? Mix? This is set aside specifically for the spices. We tricked you. The regular one is over. What here. was it we told you that it was? I think you said it was a sweet pepper. Yeah, or like a sort. pickle or something. Were you there too? Uh, I heard about it. Okay. You I don't think I was there. Was you guys were coming? It was in New Braunfels. I think, I, was, I think it was with Jason. No, no, no. Dan Gottman oh. was there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more nervous. It's a really good thing your athletic skills have improved over the years. No, Listen, I got nothing but faith in Gus Sorolla. <laughs> I'm going to need a cool down pancake for after this one. I'll get you working on that too. We have. Uh, you're milk? going to need a bucket and milk. <laughs> bucket uh, we milk. will have both for you okay. after this is made. This is. I can already smell it just from opening it. You can do it. Go back to Gus. Oh Let's God! Oh, no, that's, you can do more. You, you can double do a little drops. bit more. No, no, that's, you can do like two more drops. Now, no. it, now yeah. it's two million Scoville. That's how that works. I guarantee you, there will be a problem. We'll have to have a medic over here. Now, how much did you put in? Two drops. Two globs? I would. I wouldn't say drops. He put in not enough, but that's okay. Do you remember when the man was the hottest thing in the world? Too. Yeah. Do I have to add more water to this? No, there is water added. Okay. Already. Eric, he can he can add more. Did if you put jalapeno? You, oh, you should put jalapenos gonna, in it. If I'm you gonna do it once some. it's on the grill. Which, what's that? I'm saying he can. You can put more in as long as Eric tries some too. Eric, I will absolutely. You put more in. I will absolutely try it. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Don't, don't put more in. You got to put more in. You put more in, and I'll try it. I expected you to bitch out there, Eric. I'm, absolutely not. Ooh. Guys, just make it a tiny little bit. No, yeah. I can see you. What? Do it. Put a bunch. I already put two globs. Two more. Oh. Two more. You just said more, Eric. You didn't there, say but, how much uh, more. There you go. Keep Broadcast going. is gonna eat this. Pour it. Go. Keep going. Huh? Yeah. No, stop. Uh, oh, oh, God. Wait. <laughs> Shit, man. I don't think you guys really understand <laughs> that and what it will do to you. I think you could put in two more drops. No. Eric! <laughs> How hot does sauce go? Like 12 million? No. I think it goes to a number you can't count. If it's saying, what did it say? Medically only use two drops or one drop? Well, it's not like you, he's going to eat it diluted amongst all of this, though. It's true. That's what that He's not going to get the though. two drops. He's going to get a tiny portion of the two drops. Well, now there's but that's what they accounted them. for with the instructions. What is chat saying? Uh, spicy pancake sounds horrible. Put more in. <laughs> you all are, you, you, if you all eat it, I'll put more in. Hey, Gavin, it was really fun having you on the podcast. Um, put it in, said no one ever to Gus. It happened once in a dream. <laughs> so what else are you putting in there? Well, I'm going to put some jalapenos in once it's on the grill. Any Tabasco sauce? Uh, no, I think we got this covered. You sure? I put some cayenne for color. It, already, oh, it does it have a little bit of color small. to it. It looks red. Yeah, that's because of the but amount the of cayenne. drops you put in there per the amount of pancakes, which isn't much. Is make sure you make plenty for Eric. Very hot. This is very hot, too. Cayenne's not bad. It's overrated. That's true. This makes me just want to eat <laughs> all the ingredients on the table by themselves. You can do that, too. It's America. It is America. Currently, it is. You guys vote yet? Early voting? I did, look. I got my early voting sticker. I voted right, early. Tomorrow. It's right above my boob. Gus thinks I'm a sucker for who I'm voting for. Hey. Gus thinks I'm a sucker for who I'm voting for. Sucker. All right, did you want to talk about that? Or you want to kind of keep it more private? I'll talk about it. I don't care. Private? Go for it. Uh, I voted for Warren. Okay. Um, I think I, I like both Bernie and I like Elizabeth Warren. But uh, I decided to go with Elizabeth Warren for myself. I'm going to vote for Amy Klobuchar. Do you have uh, any Sucker. specific reasons? Uh, yeah, I took a bunch of tests online, and it was I'm, BuzzFeed, so you know I, it's really it good. It wasn't BuzzFeed. <laughs> God damn! And uh, I just continually am aligned more with her than anyone else. So was that the one where I asked you about like with my health care and guns and all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, here you want to give one to Eric? He's got more. Okay. Is Re that milk? Regular milk in case you need it. Oh man. Do, do you want some regular milk? I'm not gonna have any of that. No, no, just thing. to have it because I can't drink this. Oh yeah, just for fun. Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, what are you even? You're not gonna have this. I'm not gonna have one of these. Right. But they have almond milk. Over not there. even a little. I've, I've been uh, struggling no. with trying to rationalize who to vote for to, you know, to to figure out who'll have the best chance and yeah. to go up against Trump and whatever. But then at the end, I just realized like I just have to vote for the issues that are important to me, yeah. and that's what every American should. And then whoever wins, 
will be the person that should win. So. Yeah. You know, we have to do it that way. We have to play Uno again when they're deciding it. No, we don't. Why not? We don't have to do anything. Is Uno, the movie, The time? Dose? I mean, that's the perfect time to do it. Is that the time you did it last time? Yeah, Jack wanted to go home and see who was. It was election night. It was like yeah. that day, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you did the three, three hour, four hour. Yeah, that's when our game of Uno got out of hand. Oh shit! We thought it was going to take about twenty five minutes, <laughs> like three hours. <laughs> but I set the score to five hundred, which is a lot. It's a lot. Apparently, that feels like when you play those like fifty turn Mario games. Yeah. Where they just, I don't know why the jump between that like fifteen turns, I guess, what takes an hour. Yeah, it depends it's on the game. About ten turns an hour or so. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I'm not crazy. I think it's twenty turns an hour on Mario Party Eight. The, mo the most recent Switch one was about 10 an hour, I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was weird, that one. God, I don't know if you'll want to put those on the same track. I'm going to put it on the other side. Okay. <laughs> Did you guys read all that, uh, all those specs about the new Xbox today? It was interesting. I saw Cyberpunk 2077 said that uh, if you buy the game on the Xbox One, that you'll automatically get upgraded to the Xbox One X version. Yeah, because they have that. Out. I can't remember what they called it, but... Some kind of smart something yeah. that it automatically knows which version of the game you should have and it's the most optimized for the Xbox that you own because it will be fully backwards compatible with the 360, the One, the One S, the One X, and then the well, Series I mean, all X. those are compatible with each yeah. other, though. Well, and also, the, the, one, the One X has different versions of games than mm -hmm. the One. You just... Right. Just whatever you have is what version you but, get. But that's all like essentially within the same generation. Like the One X will have like a 4K version as opposed yeah. to like a, an HD version. What are the specs of the new one? Uh, they didn't give exact. I remember they said like 12 teraflops. 12 teraflops. They said it's four times as powerful as the One as the One S and twice as powerful as the One X. Yeah. More than. Yeah, because I think the One X is six teraflops. What's, I said, the, what's the teraflop? One trillion floating point operations a second. Whoa. Teraflop, tera like trillion yeah. and then flop, knew that. floating point operations. I, I don't <laughs> know what impresses I, me more. That's why I love that dude. I knew he would know. Math. That. You have a great amount of just. You, it's not great. There's nothing great about it. I was it. gonna call it a great amount of useless knowledge, yeah, which I don't know if that is an <laughs> insult or a compliment. It's just garbage. It's filling up my brain. So all games gonna do that? Where you just pay once and get all the versions depending on what you. I don't know. I don't know if CD Projekt Red is doing this like to be to stand out or if it's going to become a standard thing because no one else has said anything about that. Also, they're moving to SSD, so all games should pause, load, and save instantly. They said. Sweet. These ended up really thick. Those are. Th I was just about to say. They're like muffin tops. They're thick with two C's. Yo, how dem pancake look in those jeans, though, girl? <laughs> thick. <laughs> Fucking thick. The, the other day, I had an annoying thing happen. On uh, Wednesday, when I got home, you know, we filmed that thing on Wednesday that took a really long time. Oh, yeah. We can talk about that if you want. We can? Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a second then. Uh, we filmed that thing on Wednesday that took a really long time, and I got home, and my my garage door wouldn't open. Things just on and, and uh, so I was like, I'd been filming all day. I was annoyed. I just wanted to be home. I wanted to eat dinner. So whatever. Like, I, I go through my front door, and I go into my garage and look and you know the garage doors have like springs on them mm -hmm. like one of the springs had just broken like I could see that it was in two pieces instead of one it's like motherfucker so you had to call someone to come out and fix it they came out like the next day and it was it really in the end wasn't a big deal right just had to pay the guy for the spring and for his time to install it then I started wondering it's like I have a security camera that might have seen this. Mm. I wonder if I have footage of the spring breaking like I wonder when the spring broke <laughs> like was it when I got home and the door tried to open so I went through all the footage and scrubbed through it and I found it. It was like just the middle of the day, just Ghost. for seemingly no reason, Ghost. the spring just broke. And it Ghost. was yeah. loud as fuck when it broke. Like, Is that how you found it? Was it like a sound? Yeah, it was a sound alert. Yeah. Was Esther home? Yeah, but uh, she, didn't she, hear it? she was in a part of the house where she couldn't hear it. And uh, I, was, I was amazed at how fucking, like I said, I always wondered, I, I looked at those springs and like, thought, how much tension are they under? Like, yeah. what would happen if one snapped? Like, would it send shrapnel flying and hit me? No. Yeah, and, it, and it probably snapped loud. and pinged into more metal. I bet if you were in there, you would have shit your pants. Probably. I bet. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you guys where... You shit you, your pants? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, told, I told that story. Where like a month ago. You did shit your pants a month ago. It was yeah, like, about, about two months ago now, but yeah. I think you're in our office when that happened. You're two months shit free? I shit my pants... I did. I shit my pants next door, and I had a meeting in your office, and I had to run. Yeah, it was yeah, all. Yeah, you were like running out before when I, I saw you. The meeting. Yeah. Do you think you're already past the point in your life where you shit your pants the least? 
Because, you know, as you get older, you're going to be shitting constantly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, so all, you, it's all downhill. You're on the downhill Listen, for pants I, shit. I yeah. have not shit my pants since I went vegan. Huh. Let me ask you a question. I also shit haven't pants. shit my pants in the last four months. I need a frame <laughs> of reference for that. How, on average, as an adult, you're, I'm 44, you're 42? Yeah. How often, previously to being vegan, uh, how often would you shit your pants per year? I did it once last year when I was uh, out of the country, okay. and then I did it <laughs> when I was in kindergarten. That's because you get food poisoning from meat. So you shit your well, you, pants you do, once as general. an adult and once as a kid. Yes. Well, then that's no feat not to shit your pants for four months I'm just months saying, I haven't shit my pants because I've been vegan. I'm saying you guys should take those claps back. It doesn't mean as much as you thought it did. <laughs> yeah, is. that is pointless. That's like saying you haven't worn a hat since you were vegan. That's not true, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a liar, Gavin. What about gloves? I have not worn he gloves. He hasn't missed a vote since he turned vegan. <laughs> wow. Go out and vote. I, was, I didn't realize that Texas had moved their vote earlier mm -hmm. to like align with uh, Super Tuesday so that it's act we're actually relevant. Before Texas used to vote way after it mattered. What a clusterfuck this whole thing is, by the way. What do you say? That? Voting? Just trying to keep make sense of it all and the fact that it has to be like this drawn out three month process with brokered conventions. It's just it do, just do, seems do you, do you think, it seems overly complicated. Do you think every state has a separate has a different system. Do you think it's intentionally drawn out like this so that candidates have to be wealthy to be able to afford all of this campaigning and all of this? <sighs> I is it like I, a barrier to entry? I Conspiratorially, that makes a lot of sense, but you know I me. have I like a good conspiracy theory. I, I do. Is I have Sanders no wealthy? idea when it's like how long it's been the case. Mm. Like if 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 this uh, has been this way for forty years, yes, for one hundred and forty years, probably not. My, it might be a relic of like old time. I think before it is. You get, yeah, yeah, and how news official communication. And stuff. Yeah. I didn't realize that before the debates of both sides for the president, they. All shit on themselves first. Oh yeah, like, all oh, yeah. the Democrats yeah. will just be like shitting all over each other. So isn't that just giving the other side a bunch well, of material? That's the big knock on Bernie from Hillary supporters. Is after it became obvious that Bernie wasn't going to win the nomination, he then and Hillary won. He then waited over a month to support her, and like essentially threw shade during that month, and which all of is not typically how it's done. All of it his typically, supporters follow suit. Yeah, and so that set her. Then she was essentially uh, like running Armstrong, against a fragmented yeah. party mm -hmm. and uh, the Republican Party at the same time. Whereas historically, you know, you get the nomination, and then the other person turns around and says, "Like, I think I could have done a better job as president, but I'll support the hell out of you. You got my vote." Yeah, you're a piece of shit, but I respect you. <laughs> yeah, which is why they try not to go too dirty in the primaries. It seems to be pretty dirty right now. But it's pretty dirty. Well, it's because well, it, 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 the whole fucking country's dirty. It's interesting because I see. It seems like. In both both cases, you'll see this a lot, uh, where candidates will have to say crazy things to stand out. Then it, once they eventually do get the nomination, it's like they have to slowly, carefully walk back to try to get to uh, an actual workable thing. What if they went down the line and, and told how long it's been since they shit their pants? I'd want to know. If we get a presidential candidate on the podcast, we'll ask them the last time they shit their pants. Let's do it. That'd be interesting. How about this? Just in the Democratic Party, <laughs> who do you think among the existing presidential candidates has shit their pants the most recently? Buttigieg. Mike Bloomberg. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> yeah, no, no question. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Bloomberg shits his pants. That's right. <laughs> I think Bernie Sanders he shits shat his, his pants, pants because when he's busy. Like reading bills, he doesn't want to slow down and stop, and he like he shits his pants because he knows that the momentary discomfort uh, that he has to suffer uh, isn't as great as the inequality that he's trying to fix in the world. <laughs> I mean, and so I think he calculatedly shits his pants right, so he doesn't Gavin. slow down. His you're effectively later. doubling your time. Yeah, like you can then have that same time again before you need to shit. Yeah, there's other places. Because because I don't think he would double shit. I don't think he would double stack them. Mm. Should we have? Oh yeah, he's already there. Oh, um, what do I do? No, no, it's hot. Here, it's take there. that one. Here, I got. We yeah, got more plates. This is huh. spicy pancake. Am I saying up here to take a bite or what? Sure, I'll why go, not? I'll go with Gavin. Here, Barb, you want to get these closer to Gus? Yeah. Shit, man. It's me and you, bud. Guys, this is. You ready for? Oh, you're just doing. Are that. you? Do you like spicy food, Eric? Yeah. This is. Uh, Are you like Adam Baird? <laughs> no, 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 no. I okay. Don't, like, like this, like, hot for hot sake is gross. Well, that's what that is. You ready? This Cheers. is a mistake. This is a mistake. Cut to this clip of me saying just this. Just a little time. Small one. Well, oh, that's that's awful. What do you mean? Take a I bite. had, I had. Take a bite. A crumb. Dog. 
No, no, Eric, are you an insane person? No, go for it. Did you somehow Eric, botch these? Eric, go. you're going to Hold have a heart attack. Take a bite. Eric, Eric, Eric you're, you're going, going to have a heart attack. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> How does it taste? Eric, damn, that's bad. Like Bisquick and jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want a spicy pancake? That kid's a goddamn hero. You know, smell it, Barbara. Smell the spicy pancake. <laughs> Knock it off of the NBA players and football players, kids. There's your real hero. Is it, does it smell spicy? A little bit. A <laughs> little bit. Here, I'll take a bite. He waited until he got off camera. <laughs> you know, that's, um... Spicy? You want some milk, Eric? <laughs> does it taste like vinegar? Milk. He's dying. <laughs> it's actually not bad tasting. But it, it's heating up. Mm. Eric, yeah, it tastes like a pancake. There's trash cans over there. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Sounds like my cat. <laughs> I will say that was pretty badass. Goddamn, speaking of- Is, that, is that the kind of content people can expect on Face Jam? Oh fuck, these pancakes. Watch Face Jam! You, uh, you, want, you want one, Barb? You want to have a bite? Do you want, oh no, no, no. Barbara! It's not that bad. Yeah. Barbara! What? Go on. You want me to have a bite? You only live once? You want me to make a regular pancake? I'll Here. take a bite. It's, it, I, I'm... Listen, Barb, you know I don't like spicy food. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not true. I love spicy food. But it's not that bad. You want, you want a regular it's pancake, really Gavin? Watch yeah. me get make the one that's, like, pancake. concentrated. I'll be honest. I'm glad I'm not Eric right now. Yeah. He's pacing. He doesn't... He does not look good. I mean, he looks worse than normal, I should say. Thanks, man. Yeah. It... Oh, oh, oh. Can I have some more? It's not that bad. It, but it tastes bad. No, it doesn't. This tastes like a spicy pancake. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Oops. What do you talk us through it, Barbara? Talk us through it. It's like instant. Usually with spicy stuff, it's uh. Oh, Eric, you must be having a real bad time right now. My lips are hot. We just did a the the <laughs> one chip pacing. challenge. I don't know how you do it, Gus. We, I don't- I can't eat a, a chocolate pancake. It's for Gavin. Why I don't not? know how you do it, Gavin. What do you mean? Do you want a little guy? It's dessert food. Yeah. You talk- you said one chip challenge? We could've put a one chip in there. <gasps> That's interesting. What? We did that and- Where you, It's already spicy as fuck! It wasn't <laughs> as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, so, that's, that's how, the, how did the pancake compare to the chip? Oh, not even comparable. Uh, so you're saying I should put more into the pancake mix? More! More! more. Yeah. And then make Eric eat it again. <laughs> I'll take another bite. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's um. My lips tingling. As I'm having more, it's definitely tingling, heating up, but it's not the spiciest thing I've ever had. All right, we're gonna put more then. Okay. Round two. I think it was a great idea. What spicy what pancake? Doing? Yeah, yeah. I thought it tasted lovely. How much? How much are you doing? He did four lap. Oh, oh one boy. More. One more. That's more, more, one more, one that's more. That's the same as that's last time. That's not more. That's the same as last time. <laughs> oh, Gus. How much did you put in? No, put no, a little no. more in. A little more? Yeah, that, that was the same as last time. But there's time. less batter now. Can I put some in? There's way less batter in there. Oh, and there's already stuff no. in, there's already stuff in the batter, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe not, maybe not more. <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's right. enough. Yeah, you're adding on to the existing <laughs> burn. I am a very upset. You're, I am a very upset? <laughs> I am very upset with you guys. Why? Because you ate a spicy pancake? No, because I don't want you guys to get hurt. We only got to go another hour. <laughs> oh, shake it. Did you shake it? And then do it straight up right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, That'll help you. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I don't think you got enough. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, because no, with a beard, I can't handle it. It'll make the beard get all minging for ages. For eight until you shower. No, it's it's longer than that. It's longer than that. Oh wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Every fucking year, you have yep. done this to me, <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> there is a a subreddit that exists called Little Bitch. Called f Sex Pancakes. Oh, yeah. That every year they update it with gifts of us from this podcast. Or maybe just me. I don't even remember. But I don't oh, know if it's stop. a. I don't know what Devin, it is. Ooh, sex disaster. Pancake. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of V1. That's done now. I'll wait for V2. It's 
coming out soon. So we got a regular big boy pancake for Gavin, then some <clears throat> V2 spicy over here. I gotta say, the heat, like the base level of heat in my mouth is really nice after having that pancake. So like, you, it got you a think, good lingering base. Do you like, think it could be something you would do in the future? Like I think it could be something pancake? I would do in the future, yeah. Like, Not wait, Did you put like a uh, Tabasco sauce in I put, there? I only put cayenne pepper and some of that spicy Okay, because I fucking hate Tabasco with, sauce. So I, that's, Tabasco. That was the reason I didn't want to have any, because oh, I was no, scared no. it would be Tabasco-y. Uh, it shouldn't be, because Tabasco is too vinegary. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like, I like, what? Hey, you, Jeff? What's up? We can eat hot pancakes? Yeah, I'll have some uh, of the pancakes. Uh, yeah. I already had some of the last one. It was good. Is it really not good? Uh, Drink your milk, dude. Did you, how much did you have? Um, about a quarter. Mm. Eric, how are you holding up? I'm Baby, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ready for, I'm ready for round two fight. You'll get it, you'll get it soon. <clears throat> When are we going to make the actual type of pancakes that you're supposed to make on this holiday? Never. We will never make never make crepes. 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 I think it's like the. You actual... don't have a crepe cast? No. Sounds I, 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 That sounds crepey. They're hey, crepe. Jeff, that's me. I was nice. I I got the email with all the finished episodes of Haunter. I've been yeah. watching them. Are we keeping the last episode the way it is? Have you seen that cut? <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Are you okay with that? It's awesome. I think it's the best I thought they moment. Cut, I, my, o my only critique would be, I thought they cut it down. It went longer. It was the most real moment I we've thought ever it was, had. I thought it was... And I was wondering how I would feel about it. The, the audience loves <laughs> when you talk about shit that they can't see for a month. Uh, we, there was a, a thing we tried in the last episode <clears> of Haunter, and <throat> I guess we'll call it the series finale for now. Um, and uh, I... A pitiful, sure, <laughs> but I thought it ended up being very heartwarming. I thought it was so nice. I thought it was really sweet. <laughs> and it's a, and if that it has dies. to be the end of the series, uh, I think it's a pretty fitting. I end. think it's perfect. Yeah, because there was some talk I in the email about like, oh, we're not sure whether we're keeping it this way or like something about the episode. I told him I loved it. I, if I'm anything, they could they could have draw drug it out a little bit more <laughs> to make it even more pitiful before it was redeeming. <laughs> this episode of the Received Podcast is brought to you by DoorDash. DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. If you're on the go with no time to waste, you can order pickup and pass the line. Having trouble organizing a meal with your friends? You can make it easy with group ordering. DoorDash is more than just delivery. DoorDash brings all of America's flavors to your door. Ordering is easy. You open up the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are over 310,000 restaurant partners in 4,000 cities, so you might find a new favorite too. Uh, with door-to-door -door delivery in all 50 U.S. states, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory. Uh, with DoorDash, you'll never have to worry about your next meal. Right now, our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code ROOSTER. That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store, enter code ROOSTER. Don't forget, that's code ROOSTER for $5 off your first order with DoorDash. Go order pancakes. You can eat pancakes along with us right now. Pancakes. DoorDash. App. <laughs> So, uh, I love talking about that shit that they, well, we can't talk about. It'll make, it'll make sense. That they can't see. Should we talk about the thing we filmed on Wednesday? Yeah, let's do it. Um, mm. I actually have been wanting to come on the podcast and do this for a little while anyway, because I realized um, now that I'm the creative director, I guess it's my job to announce this stuff, or at least not to be the impediment to it being announced. Uh, I've, as opposed to just kind of waiting around for Bernie or Matt to <coughs> tell me to do it, which yeah, this isn't going to happen anymore. You can do it. <laughs> it's my job now. Uh, so... You, yeah, last week we filmed the first of what I call or what we are calling our tentpole first shows for 2020. Yeah. So in 2018, 2019, we had a lot of we did a lot of fun first stuff. We did hardcore monopoly, hardcore, hardcore tabletop, hardcore tabletop two. We did weird place. We did Arizona Circle, and we did Haunter. Yeah. Um, the most expensive of those, obviously, being Haunter yep. and Arizona okay. Circle. Those are like million dollar productions. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. as much as we loved making them, and as much as I really enjoyed watching the last episode of Haunter Season 2 that Gavin found to be very sweet and touching, <laughs> uh, they're just so expensive that, you know, hopefully we'll get to continue to make them for a television network or somebody who has deep pockets someday. But they just don't make dollars and cents sense for us right now. But what does make sense are shows of the level of hardcore Monopoly, hardcore tabletop. And so we've been very hard at work behind the scenes preparing what those shows will be for 2020. And so uh, there are going to be four in 2020. Uh, it, you, because Haunter 
carried over into 2020. There got pushed back a little bit. But uh, the first show to come out is going to be called Last Laugh. That's the one I teased last week. And it is Funhouse is an, a Funhouse inspired show. Elise was the original creative on it. She did a great job. Um, and, and then Stephanie Arden and uh, a bunch of other really talented people worked on it as well. But and that show is you can probably figure it out just by seeing the the image I tweeted and from you know get a sense from the name. It's uh, like our take on kind of a popular format which has been around since Silent Library. There's like 10 million Japanese shows, Korean shows that do kind of a similar thing. But you put a bunch of comedians in a room and they try to make each other laugh, and the last one uh, left. Standing but if they laugh they get if eliminated. they laugh they get eliminated and it's so you try not laughing, to laugh though. while making other people laugh It was like any sort of display laugh or of smirk enjoyment or yeah smile uh, it's Really hard. and so we we locked 12 rooster teeth personalities into a room for a very long time and watched them slowly lose their minds Actually, not so slowly some of them <laughs> lost their minds really quickly. You want a spicy pancake? Uh, yeah, speaking of losing so your mind. that was the first one the second one we're actually going to film in a couple weeks is which you which has been announced. It's the one of the four that's been announced already, and that is hardcore mini golf, which was Jack's idea actually, and he pitched in a creative session, and we immediately jumped on the chance to make it. So that'll come out. Uh, Last laugh comes out in April, sometime in April, around the end. Mini golf will come out in the summer, uh, and then after that, late summer, early fall will be, and that's the Achievement Hunter show. Then, uh, sorry, I'll get to this fast, and then we can. Oh her. no, no! You take. Your then uh, <laughs> take the core time. show that's going to come out in the third quarter, mm -hmm. somewhere in the third quarter, is Show Nanigans. Yep. Which is a show that we've been talking about for a very, very long time, and that Chad James uh, and uh, has been working on for a long time. That is going to be <clears> our, <throat> our take on like a Japanese game show. Yeah, if you've liked the specifically the Japanese game show segments he's done on Extra Life with us before, imagine that the, as a show. Of course, in the game, uh, yeah, imagine that as a one big show. And that'll be a first show. These are all first shows, obviously. And then to wrap up the year, uh, Achievement Hunter and friends, uh, most of the Rooster Teeth uh, personalities, are going to get together to play the sh the thing that I'm the most excited about. Uh, and that that I've been wanting to make for almost as long as Hardcore Monopoly, and definitely more than Hardcore Monopoly, which is Hardcore Clue, which so is the way we have mm -hmm. it planned out and the way we've engineered it. Uh, a lot of people have been working behind the scenes on it. Uh, Hannah, Brian Riley, Cody, a bunch of people have been involved with it. Uh, it's going to be fucking phenomenal, I think. So that'll be, and so that'll be like once a quarter, you get four to eight episode shows, first shows. Uh, to tide you over until Ruby or whatever the next thing, and so uh, that's our first slate. For or maybe Ruby is tiding them over. For or maybe shows. Ruby is tiding you over for these shows. Maybe. Cheers, uh, buddy. Cheers, baby. Hot Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my God, please. It's a good ass pancake. Oh yeah. I just taste like a good ass pancake. You all crazy. That's <laughs> just a good pancake. <laughs> Seconds before disaster. <laughs> Duh, I don't want to be your toilet tonight. I don't or know. Or any what, night, yeah. really. <laughs> Go on. Oh, you can control it whenever you want. No, this pancake has a little kick to it. Are you, are you feeling anything different, Eric, to, than the last one? More, more extreme? Jeff, you okay? <laughs> you okay, Jeff? Oh, there yeah, it is. Yeah, baby. But you, but he, but. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's found it. Down <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little hot coffee, oh, though. It's on the. Wipe it down. You want some whipped cream? In the back of the Hell no. It'll be hot. to eat. <laughs> Big dog, Big dog, dog eat. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, yeah. dude. Oh, Woo. get some, get some milk. There's milk, some milk over, over here. here. I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> you want some, you want some milk? I'm That's whole, good. I'm whole hogging it. That's good. <sighs> Jeff, you want some milk? No, I don't. That's <laughs> nitrous, dude. You're just gonna. Get, it's just puffing <laughs> no, nitrous. No, you need more. Do more you, nitrous is better. Do you want some butter? I mean, nice cold, mm, refreshing. No, I'm fine. Butter. I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna I'll, soldier ah, through it. I'll take some of that butter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Here you go. Oh. Anyway, uh, that was my very boring explanation of what uh, we were, we were working on behind the scenes. Not excited, Four yeah. big at first all. shows Excited coming from it. Direct this year. And that's in addition to all the things animation and studio mm -hmm. and everybody else does. I think you should guess the name of a show that we're making in 2023 on the spot. <laughs> on the well, spot. Well, we probably won't be making that. Not on the spot. <laughs> Damn it. Just kidding. Um, we're gonna be making uh, pff, control your load. That's, that's my go. favorite show from 2023. Yeah. I, I'm excited about Fart Masters. <laughs> Fart Masters. Two similar shows. Mm -hmm. That's what Conant is gonna be in three years from now. 
Oh, Card Masters yeah. Season 3, Control Your Load. Well, <laughs> if it's Season 3, then we're going to need Season 1, like, next year. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, we, at least we have the name. What is Fart Masters? I'm going to try to figure you out what Fart Masters is. You have to wait until 2023, is. baby. Okay. I reckon it's, it's how to best amplify a fart without uh, electronics. I think it's you presented a Ziploc with a fart in it, and you have to guess who farted it. <laughs> we did that with the burp, but it didn't I think work. it's a prank show where you're fitted with a fart machine, <laughs> and you have to wear it for seven straight days, 24 hours a day, and somebody else can control when you fart, and you have to go about your business, <sighs> and you can't acknowledge the fart or react in any way if you're standing in line at the bank and you rip a big fart, or you're at the grocery store, or at the doctor's office, or at your kid's PTA meeting. I, I feel like between us, we've come up with Q1, 2, 3, and 4 of... And of, uh, that's how creative meetings work. Yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> Done. What was your fart one? My fart one was gonna be. Uh, what is your fart master? You get uh, one person to fart. There's like a little hole in the wall, and you have three contestants who all have to smell it. It's like fart glory hole. And <laughs> they have to try to name based Guess what on you ate based on looks alone, that identify which of the like ten people on stage whose fart it is by the looks of it, the smell of it. Sorry. Oh. That's the same as Gus's fart bag. No, but this is like uh, ten live strangers. In ten strangers. One of them farts, <clears throat> and you have to guess whose fart it is just by smell alone. I like it. Fart masters. Try to name a can scent we, to a person. We yeah. can also do one where uh, you have to try to guess the last meal that person ate. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> that's bonus right yeah, there. Yeah, like like, like some, you, 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 you get a fart for someone. And in, which among these five meals did they eat? Right, like you smelled their fart first. Like you saved their fart from first thing in the morning. It's like, what did they have for dinner last night? Yeah. I, I want to I do one where I make four meals and I farted in one of them during the baking process <laughs> and you have to eat them all and tell me which one. Here's another one. <laughs> Can you, is it possible to generate a spicy enough fart that it's hot on the nose of the person oh, that's smelling it. Like if you put enough cayenne pepper or whatever into whatever you eat that makes you fart, could Gavin's nose get hot? Mm -hmm. Could he be like, ah. I saw an interesting That's one here in chat. One. I think it was Andre HK <clears throat> said, uh, everyone eats a bunch of Taco Bell and then see who can rip the longest, loudest fart without shitting their pants. That's interesting. Taco Bell doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for me either, but you'll yeah. find something comparable, I need right? worse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like a Mc spicy McDonald's pancake. breakfast tacos. <clears throat> like what? McDonald's breakfast tacos. Really? They make me have bad diarrhea. <laughs> Every time I add them, and I know it, and I still get them. <laughs> for I just punishment. make sure it's a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts make me really gassy. Oh, really? Yeah, like I'll fart like crazy. It's common. Is it? Okay. I think it is. Spicy food makes me fart a lot. Have you guys ever had a shit that's like uh, hot? Yeah. Well, I, assume was, that yeah. Gonna, I assume that Jeff's going to have one yeah. after yeah. this podcast. Yeah. Like it feels no, like it burns coming at, like so temperature-wise. I'll give you, do you want to have a spicy butthole? I can tell you right now the fast way to do it in Austin. Okay, go to Tumble 22 on Burnett Road. Oh, yes, It's a definitely. chicken place. It's like Nashville spicy chicken. They have Cluckin' Hot. That's the hottest version of the chicken that they sell. But if you ask them, the one of the employees has created a spicier version. It's named after him. It's like John Dildo or whatever his name is. <laughs> Ask for the spicier version than the cluck and hot. Like, can I have the off menu spicy? And they'll give you that. I tried that, and then uh, I yelped out loud when it came out the next day. Uh. Like, I went, ah! <laughs> I thought there was something wrong with me. I ran into Emily, and I'm like, I had a problem. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you went to my blood's on fire. <laughs> yeah. and, like, and she was like, Well, you had that fucking chicken last night. And yeah. I, I completely disassociated. I didn't remember. And I was like, Oh, so then a couple months later, I tried it again just to see. Next day, just as bad. Hmm. I mean, clearly that's the cause. Yeah. I don't know why you had to test it again for a second. Time. I don't think. I mean, I don't remember ever having a spicy f shit from uh, spicy food, and I eat a lot of spicy food. Like spicy Indian food doesn't make my butt hurt. Any more pancakes? Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, good for, for now. now. Yeah. Anybody else want a pancake? Regular or spicy? Do we have any beer? Yeah. You want beer? Beer. Beer pancake. Beer. What well, if you put twelve people in a room and the last person to fart wins? That's a true fart master. Like they're controlling their fart. Yeah. But they've all had. You How know, about you two put balls twelve of people beans. in a room and the first person to fart wins? <laughs> I like <laughs> that, that game better. That show would last fifteen seconds. I can't fart right now if I needed to. If my life depended yeah, on like it. If I you didn't, fart. if you didn't warn people, give them advance notice, just like very quickly, like, all right, everyone come in here. Whoever farts wins. Dan, Dan can pull a fart <laughs> out of nowhere. He did it yesterday because I was I was reminiscing about the time he farted in a cab. And the driver pulled Febreze out of his glove box <laughs> and sprayed it all over the back two seats. Uh. <laughs> and Dan, Dan doesn't like it when I bring up the story. 
so he just he just decided to do it again in the car. He was like, I'll just do one right now. Did and you he bring stunk... up a breeze? No, I didn't have any. Oh, but he yeah. stunk out the whole car at, you know, two seconds notice. And that's an impressive skill. I couldn't do one right now to save my life. I bet you, I bet he can't do it. it, it the timing was right. The he stars were aligned. Too, yeah. I've had those moments, those perfect little fartable moments too, where like, it'd be really funny if I, oh, and here we go. But, but he had it's... it like, in the chamber. He was just like, <clears throat> and then, it, and then it, there it went. It, he didn't have to work it is down. He, is he still in town? He, he's on a plane right now. He just uh, left. He'll be back next week. <laughs> Alright, well next week, first thing you see, first time you see him, see if he'll fart instantly. Okay, I'll record it. I'll, yeah. I'll film it. Mm -hmm. If did he can do it more than once, I'll buy it. Did you use that Mr. Butterworths? I did. Uh, yeah, I did. You want some? No, no. Just make sure you used it, because you were very insistent you wanted it. This is my favorite kind of syrup. Just being sure. Yeah. Do you like her is that, better did, than... Is that the, the one that had your balls in it or something? I farted in it. Okay. Fart masters. Do you like her better than uh, Aunt Jemima? <laughs> I do. I do. Is it like a looks thing? Um, she looks very matronly. I'll mm -hmm. be honest with you. Nothing against Aunt Jemima. I like her as well. But Mrs. Butterworth, she just seems like very kind. Yeah. yeah. And her name is like, it's relevant to my interests. Butterworth. Butter? I, for the yeah, longest time, I'm, thought I'm super it was... Because when I think of pancakes, I think of <laughs> syrup and butter. And so that... Do you think they intended that? Are you trying to tell me Mrs. Butterworth's not a real woman? <laughs> I, for the longest time, thought it was Buttersworths. What? Buttersworths? Is English your first language? No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they used to have a commercial where the bottle would come alive? Yeah, yeah, baby. That was cool. But that was that her or was it Jemima? No, that was Mrs. Butterworth. <sighs> Too many women. So that pancake had no effect. The spicy pancake had no effect on you. <clears throat> I mean, it was spicy. My mouth's a little, little turned up. Are you going to make a... An ultra, but one? am I am I making a big right. deal out of it like a? Let me let me like do I'm a thing with Eric that. Bador over there crying in the back room. No, I'm working. <laughs> That's a soundboard. Okay, Jeff's so working too right now. <clears throat> Debatable. <laughs> Why don't you just try a, a dollop of that so sauce let me, by itself? Let me figure this out. So you've put in two globs. You made some, and then you put in another two. Yeah, the the second two was a lot more though. So you to put four in. So to double it, I would have to. No! Oh. No! 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 That's more, that's more hot sauce than, uh, pancake batter. No. Look in there, that's good. That's for Oh, Eric. no. I'm only taking a bite if you take a bite. Yeah, I'll take a bite. Oh, my no, God. That's what I like to hear. Guys, guys. It's I mean, I don't actually want you to not do it. I'm just complaining. <laughs> All right, listen. We're filming. We got content. Everybody <laughs> needs to sync up in the morning and talk about their first poop of the day. On Slack and see if anybody <laughs> notices any irregularities. Should we add? Images Why don't we just or? have a, a, a real life meeting and just film it? I kind of want to do. They did this thing on the Howard Stern show years ago. I don't want to steal bits from Howard, although everybody else does. We, yeah, why not? But uh, why not be the rest of the world? Uh, but they did this thing where there's this just human piece of shit named Hypocheric, and they uh, they weighed his shits for a day to see how much he shit. And I don't remember what the result was. I just remembered it was really underwhelming and thinking I could shit heavier than that. Oh. Yeah, I bet you could. You bet so we good. should do that. We should do that maybe one day. Oh. We should, uh, all capture our poops in like oh a trash God. bag and then in weigh it at the end of the day. <laughs> Wait, however you want to do it. classier than that. All right, whatever. Like a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> and then... Uh, and then we'll weigh, we'll weigh the Louis Vuitton bag on its own, and I wanna, we'll weigh it full of each person's shit and oh, see who shit the most. I want to shit in it's, a coach bag. The fumes are spicy. Gonna, the fumes are... Like their parts will be tomorrow. What else are you going to do in a coach bag other than shit in it with that <laughs> lame You got to use it. Yeah. Ex-luxury brand. Oh, This is uh, going to be real bad. Why are you doing this? I, I, I'll be honest, I'm surprised no one stopped me from doing that. Well, that's, I only gave it to you because I knew that was it. There's really nothing left in there. But you just said oh, no. Shit, which one was it? I just no, said no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that's eating through the plastic. It's not one I better set it aside. <laughs> I I will say I advised against it. Or was it this one? But I'm not. You're an, a grown adult. I'm no. not going to stop you from doing it. I think anything. we should all take a bite. I think. Should we evenly distribute it yes, amongst the crew not. and everyone in the room? No, just yeah. you guys. We're <laughs> <laughs> doing a podcast. Don't burp into the mic. Spicy pancake. Do we cut that kind of stuff out, like burps Audience and immersion. Gross I want them to chewing. feel like they're they're here, sitting next to us on the sofa. You used to like cut little coughs out, and oh yeah, you would trim all the way through. Yeah, 
And that's why it took forever for <laughs> episodes to come out. Yeah, this I has think, to come dude, out I had to, edit the yeah. I had to edit the podcast a couple times early on, like when you'd be out of town. That's not fun. <clears throat> that's sucks. not cool. It sucks. I don't... I mean, that's that, not, that week where we did one every day of the week, you wanted to die. Yeah, that was terrible. Those were pretty short, though, right? They were like 20 minutes? 30 minutes, I think. 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. That That's how week. long most podcasts are nowadays, though. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Just around the topic, um, let us know. Leave a comment on the website on YouTube. How long is your ideal length for the Rooster Teeth podcast? I'm curious. Yeah, because especially if you're watching this on YouTube, a lot of you guys don't get through the whole thing. So when, right. do, you, when do you lose interest in a podcast? I can, I can you tell, tell you when they watch? do. Well, I'm curious. To, I, I, I know we have the metrics. I'm yeah. curious to hear the audience opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't tell them what the metric is. All right. I won't. I won't spoil the metric, yeah. but I, I am interested as well because yeah, we have hard data on when you turn off on all the podcasts, and it's about the same place every. every is it podcast. where we start talking about dicks it, and cum? It's and where stuff? we say and Gus, and then it's like, all right, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a Gus episode. <laughs> I will say <laughs> people only tune in for the non-Gus episodes. <laughs> It'll be, I think, pretty split because I think there's going to be a portion of you guys who <clears throat> want. All the Rooster Teeth content you could get, and that's we'll awesome. Say, like, there's not enough, not enough hours. You in the guys day. could re record a three-hour podcast, and I'd still listen to it. Which, hopefully, you have other things to do during the day other than not, that. That's yeah, a lot like, of us. Well, like watch our other content. <laughs> yeah, watch a different video. A lot of people fall asleep to it too. But mm -hmm. I, I, also, I think it's nice. I feel like for me, a podcast like thirty to forty-five minutes. What do you? I think thir thirty to forty-five minutes seems to be the industry average. Uh, podcast like? and all the podcasts yeah. that I'm listening to. Yeah. What uh? What do you fall asleep listening to now? Me? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead um. Those. We listen to <clears throat> usually some type of sound. Um. Either rainstorms or ocean sounds mm -hmm. or like some type of what that like white noise kind Making of. Making mac and cheese. So not that one. How about you, Gabber? <laughs> not yet. Uh, just my YouTube subs. Like whatever's new that day, I'll just pop on. Wait, you ask me specifically what it is. Like what kind of video? Uh, I don't care. I was just trying to unpack what you said. Oh, I'm I got the YouTube channel. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. I, we, I have that now too. I was just thinking about you're listening to the people that subscribe. That's to you. what I was That's thinking. That's how it sounded. Oh, yeah. I was like, do you no, put on a just, number? I just, to the I just listened to the the cash register sound. <laughs> I, was like, I, I have a program that reads to me the username every time a new subscriber <laughs> subscribes to the channel. I wonder if Ray to do it. <laughs> That'd be interesting. <laughs> what listen? Yeah, like there are some people it would just never shut up. Right. It'd be permanent. It'd be like 24 hours a day. You couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, Asia's waking up. And then there'd be some people that'd be, you just hear names in reverse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. How about you, Gus? Uh, listen to the sound of my CPAP machine breathing for me. Hey, yeah. That's actually a nice white noise. It is. It's actually very quiet, though. I oh. couldn't listen to noise for the longest time. I had to have absolute silence. Uh, but then you think too much. But. <laughs> not me. Uh, no, nah, nah, <laughs> I was drinking like... back then too, so I wasn't thinking about nothing. Uh. But, uh, not throwing up in my mouth while I sleep. Uh, but Emily uses a white noise machine, and now I've become mm -hmm. addicted to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Is it I... just like a? Yeah, it's like an Amazon thing, and it's pointless because we all have cell phones. But she has this little white box. There's like thirty bucks on Amazon <laughs> that you just hit a button, and it just plays the same white noise. I, yep. I fell asleep the other night with my AirPods in. It's actually kind of easy to lie yeah. down with those. <laughs> and I woke up with one in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you eat eight AirPods a year? <laughs> was it still playing? Dude, you don't know. No, it fell out of my ear oh, and stopped playing. I was like, did it go in your mouth and think it was an ear? So it's like ear detection. Oh, I don't know, actually. Even know. the single worst thing in the world is, is waking up from a plane and realizing you have one AirPod in and going like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you're like, when did that happen? And then and you're, you're like looking around. You don't know how far to look back. You can barely move. The feeling right. of it falling out of your ear slowly, these? though. Yeah. We'll wake you up faster than anything. Uh, put one in Eric. Where am I putting these two spicy pancakes? Eric and Gavin, I think, right? Eric and Gavin, Gavin are having them. Oh, fine. Which one do you want, Gavin? Uh, the, the big one, because I want to share it with Barbara. Yeah, I'm not- it's fun. I'm not having any Why? of it. We'll get here, because go. I'm not involved in this Shit, situation. Shit, a brick. Whoa! <laughs> what? Whoa. What that happened? Ca that cannot be eaten. Yeah. What happened? Get away for that. Some. I'm not get having any of that. I'm not having yeah, any of it. Here, Do you have it. any idea? Yeah, smell. Yeah, bring that over. Take a bite. Shit, me. I mean, it smells pretty you good. You did this. I you know. did this. It smells like Tabasco sauce. Okay. Me and my, me and my two it. friends, oh, me and my two best friends, eating pancakes together. Some for Barbara, and some for Eric, and some for Gavin. Eric, you are very good at your job, buddy. Having three, just three So I got milk friends. on hand right here. Hey. Do you have a bucket God, on hand? Don't bother me, I'm eating. It's not even, like, gone properly. Yeah, because it's it was like, mostly sauce. And it was, it was two-thirds sauce, one-third Batter. I think you a Just human a, shouldn't here, eat that. Here, Barbara. Here you go. made it. Here you you go. made it. Barbara, here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Oh, it's too hot in the inside. Baby hot. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, ready? Here we go. Three friends taking a cool bite. One, two, three. Yeah. Go. All right, go it. Yum. She wiped it on my arm <laughs> and put it on her hoodie. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Here, milk. You guys are. <laughs> Here you go. Do something with it. Okay. Ah. Why'd you spit it out? Ah. I can't swallow that, Eric. <laughs> ah! Here, let me pour you some milk. Take another bite. You want some more? No, you should have some. Take a little bite. Jeff, you want some? Nibble. Jeff, you yeah. want some? Oh <laughs> no! You actually want some? Yeah, I'll have a bite. All right, me and my me and my best friend Jeff taking a bite together. It smells like shit, dude. Three, two, three, two, one. Yeah. This has been. This is. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't like the BK podcast. Now I love it. <laughs> That's good. All right. That, that's a spicy pancake. <laughs> that's a spicy pancake. Kevin, you barely you had any. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, Anybody else? Spicy pancake? <laughs> wow. Can't get up there. Get some spicy pancake over here. Caden, don't. Here you go. Don't do a, it. Don't be a wait, maniac. Kevin, you give, should give have some more. Oh, here. Don't be a coward. Caden, though, could eat Just smell anything. It. Smell it. And nothing phases her. Oh, See? God. Well, oh. you gotta give it some time. Okay. Jesus Christ! It's <laughs> <laughs> it's wow, nothing. And then Caden walked off, right over and nobody saw her again. <laughs> she instantly went to the bathroom. Right that was uh, mm. I'll be honest, that was pretty spicy. Oh, it's in my tongue. Was it a spicy meatball? No, it's a pancake. Oh, right. Ooh. Forgot. <laughs> Eric is uh is dying back. Gavin, here. you had the smallest, tiniest little bite. Oh, yeah. You didn't have any! That's true. Yeah, yeah Barbara! I didn't say Damn I it. would! Have a... <coughs> oh, I just swallowed. Oh, God. Barbara, have a little bit. I'll have another bite if you do, Barbara. Kim's fine. I'm in, I'm in awe. It's not that hot. I don't want it. Have a little nib on that. Fine. It's not you that bad. take a bigger bite. Caden, why? <laughs> you made it! <laughs> I know! Eat the pancake! That's sex pancakes right there. <laughs> That's the most upvoted sex pancakes uh, image ever. I swallowed it. That was a mistake. Oh, she swallows. Sex pancakes. <laughs> Not happy right now. Mm-hmm. I feel like I got bullied into doing that. <laughs> God, I was... Uh-oh. This has been a bullying day for you. I was afraid we were bullying you or electrocuting you to Yeah, death. I feel like it's just been... Today is just beating me down into a well, bulb. <laughs> it, it could only go up from uh, the beginning, from earlier. You know, this is similar to that chip. It's, uh, uh I'll finally. say this, everything it touched is spicy. Everything every, the light I know every, touches is your kingdom. Every <laughs> centimeter of my mouth that came into contact with that pancake. It's not that bad. Shut up. You had... You didn't the, eat any. You had a crumb plus. You're like when I try to feed Millie vegetables when she was two. <laughs> it's like I don't like asparagus. And like hey, you looked at it. These look cold. Where's the where's oh uh, <laughs> the lights just went red. Where's the whipped cream? Get some more whipped cream in there. Oh whipped yeah, that'll right help. Here? I'm good, thank you. Gavin? Gavin, whipped cream? Whipped cream? Oh, well, you know it'd be tasty actually. Oh. Isn't that good? Yeah. <laughs> mm mm. You're you're a champ, Gavin. You you're you and champ. I had about the same. Mm. All right. Maybe it affects everyone differently. Like when we were doing that thing earlier. Yeah, we did the one chip challenge as a a, oh, a, a video it's recently. Really, oh. And oh, good. I think like all of us had the same amount. Chad, for some reason though, could not handle it for the life of him. Mm. He was freaking out. He was like. Drooling and sweating and yeah. crying. People in chat are asking to uh, give some of this pancake to Chad. I will say this: it doesn't. Ah! He's, he's as far away as possible. From it this doesn't taste right as good as previous iterations of this pancake. It's because it's. <laughs> it, this I think is it's, way not way. <laughs> I was trying to make an edible pancake. <laughs> Gavin. All right, I'm like four. Did this to himself. Four, <laughs> four bites in. Is that the spicy one, Barbara? You're still going? No one's bullying you anymore. I just wanted more. It was kind of tasty. <laughs> That's not the spice. <sighs> no, I guarantee it is. Mm-hmm. That's brave. That one had a little bit more in it. The, the, the chaser of strawberries, beer, and milk is not great either. 
Your stomach's all fucked up now. I guess I should pull my laptop out. I've had it off to start. Should I'm not should you bounce her out on the couch? Yeah. <sighs> Jingle it all up? Um, I <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell tummy's you, not happy. I'll tell you a story that'll make you feel better. <laughs> mm. Did you hear uh, over the weekend that the uh, flat Earth astronaut died? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we talked about this guy on the podcast a year or two ago, but it's this guy who thought the Earth was flat, so he built his own rocket to go to space to prove that the Earth was flat. And he died. Well, he proved he's not very good at building a rocket. Well, like I think he had launched when we talked about it last year, the year before, he had gone up like a thousand feet. But over the weekend, he was supposed to go up to five thousand feet, and the homemade rocket did not work. How That's high your, did he get? Which is, which, which part I mean, of them? It, it's sad that the guy died, but it is very sad. I mean, if you're making your, I, I wouldn't try to make my own rocket. It seems like you're there's no good outcome from there. Yeah, I think ultimately they wanted to get to a point where they were going to launch sixty miles into space. Couldn't he just launch or build something to, with a camera on it to launch high enough? Well, I think we'll do that all the time. I think he wants to see it himself to document it. If you want to be Elon Musk, you got to have the bank account of Elon Musk. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I think I, th I think uh, I'd read an interview with him after his last launch last year, or the year before, where he said that he had to be very careful because the rocket was <clears throat> trying ten different ways to kill you. And I thought, I'm sure that rocket's trying more than ten different ways to kill you. I mean, yeah. if, if you think there's ten possible deaths. Coming out of that rocket, you're grossly misunder- <laughs> You're grossly underestimating- The rocket? Yeah, the ability- the amount like of point of problem. failure on that thing? <laughs> right. <clears throat> that documentary, and the existence of it, do you think it's made more people become Flat Earthers, or more Flat Earthers become- I think it's made more people become Flat Earthers. You, you think, think so? so? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I still don't I know how that happens. It's just misinformation. But just, like, the people, right information is out there. Or people watching it who already kind of believe that? And Maybe. it's readily accessible. Yes. Same thing you can say the same thing about anti-vaxxers. It's true. People people when you <clears throat> people have a mindset that when they want to believe something and it's very easy to pull up supporting documentation to believe that thing, <clears throat> you get confirmation bias. We all do it. Is Russia you, behind this? What's that? Is Russia behind oh, this? Oh, easily. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the NBA is behind it, right? It's all Shaq and Kyrie and NBA players that think the Earth's flat, um, and, and and it's it's just it's very easy to propagate that that thought line, you know. Mm -hmm. I I it's like I've I've been reading a lot of leopards ate my face and murdered by words, and um, there's a couple of other subreddits, and it's just like you can see it happening when people just people just need to believe something because it's convenient to their. <clears throat> Way of thinking, mm -hmm. but it's like it's religion. They don't have to believe that the Earth is flat. Like that doesn't change their life at all. If the Earth was round, like how does it affect them? What? Why is this the hill? Is it because they're so focused on the fact that society and the government is lying to them? But if you like, I is don't that know, the, maybe is that the thing? Yeah. I mean, I think it's no so different than you or I. Want. I mean, I everybody loves a conspiracy theory, right? Yeah. So it's just like it's it's a fun one to believe. Right? Yeah. Until you're in a and homemade rocket. Until you're, well, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, uh, among the things that you shouldn't make at home, rockets mm. and nuclear reactors are probably pretty high up there. Mm. <laughs> Do you hear about that Boy Scout who made one? No. Yeah, he made, like, uh, his own, like... Was that a, there was a movie about it in the 80s. I think so, yeah. yeah. What was the one where he was, like, pulling stuff out of smoke detectors? That was it. To, was that the, yeah. Yeah, like, radon or something? Or? Uh, yeah, I don't think it was... Right. It was smoke detectors have like a little bit of a <clears throat> material in them. What is the thing that turns the most flat earthers back to <laughs> sanity? Like, is there evidence that Do, you can does, show people? I don't think so. Does that happen? Well, I don't know. Is it documented? I mean, I feel like if I had a flat earther friend, I could just show them that the earth isn't flat. But they're going to not believe it. Well, how would they explain it? With one of their weird explanations? I don't know. Like, if you go up high, you see further. Yeah, but that doesn't mean necessarily that it's round. You could go up, you could see further if it's flat. No, I'm not a flat earther. I'm just <laughs> How could you see how could you see further if it's flat? If you're higher? Your point of view. Yeah. But you wouldn't see new stuff. What? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like the higher you go, you can see over the curve. The curve's not there. Like they, I don't think they acknowledge the curve. What? Like even if you're in a plane, I don't think they 
They say that there's no curve. They say that that's mm. still flat. Like the horizon at floor is what, like 12 miles or something. Mm -hmm. But if you're 3,000 feet up, I it'll actually be understand way, what he's saying. It'll be way further away. But to me, it makes sense that you could still see further even if it is flat. You could. Yeah. You're both right. Well, I mean, but, but the, for a different reason in the, in the yeah, stuff but, stacked. But you can still see it. You're, but you're both correct here. Which is why I'm saying this, doesn't, this isn't convincing for a flat earther. Right. Okay, so in a big open field, there's nothing, right? But over the hump is a building. So you go up high to see it. If on a flat earth, a flat earth, you'd be able to see it from the ground. I see what you're saying. Okay. But you still could. Could you see further? <laughs> How would you see further? <laughs> Maybe if there were like elevation changes, like if there were hills or something, you could see over a hill. Sure. Which is a curve, <laughs> like a horizon. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what turns people back. I've never heard any evidence of it. Yeah, I'm, cu I'm curious to know. <laughs> do, do, do we know any flat earthers? We don't, right? I knew someone. Do you remember? We met this dude. I know some dudes who went to T&I who probably could be flat earthers. We met this dude several years ago who was convinced that planes were spraying chemtrails. Do you remember that meeting? We had dinner with him. And, uh, Is this I, during RT? Yes. I yelled at him because I said it was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard. And like, I thought he was a really smart guy until he started going on about that. I don't remember. Yeah. We have to seek up after us. Obviously, somebody <laughs> we can't talk about. He said, uh, what, what did he say? He said that planes had to carry enough fuel to get to their destination and to get back to their origin in case they couldn't land. I was that's like, not how that's it works. Like, that's not how it works. And that they were carrying... Oh, and that's what it was. And that since if they land, if they were going to land successfully, they didn't need all that extra fuel, so they would dump it. That's what it was. That it was uh, plane that that's, condensation that you see. That's rad. was planes dumping fuel because they were going to be able to land safely at their destination. That's idiotic. Yeah, I mean they do dump and fuel, expensive. but not for right. No, you said reasons. every flight. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that's just standard practice. <laughs> nah. -uh. Wasn't there fuel dumped on a <laughs> Los like Angeles a school, school the other yeah. day, like a couple yeah. weeks ago? Yeah. Why was why did that happen? Did they say? I think the plane had an emergency and had to turn around and come back and land. It was taken off from LAX. And I think it was too land. heavy to land. Right. The, right. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a dump fuel. All right. I'm gonna no more pancakes because I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, I think I'm done. All right, I'm done. I got a little bit of spicy one left in my mouth. There's it. still some here too. I feel like I need to bite it on the other side of my mouth just to even out. <laughs> it's the, the best answer ever. Cryhawks. The moon is round. The sun is round. Every other planet in the solar system is round. Why would the Earth not be round? That's <laughs> true. Do they believe the other planets are round? Yes. I mean, I've never they say seen... that we, we've observed the other planets being round, but we have not observed Earth being round. I mean, I've never observed the moon. I've never seen the other side of that. I've it's never just, seen like, ocean yeah. locked to us. I've it? never seen this shit come out of my butt, but I know it happens. You never put a. But you could. How have you never seen that? Never pooped in a mirror. You've toilet? looked into your anus to watch poop come out. <laughs> does, does your bidet not have a, a live stream? <laughs> it's got a little bit of a mirror at the bottom, just so I can make sure. It's got a Twitch <laughs> channel, so you can verify that your poop is actually your shit. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Um, Have you ever seen the poop come out of your butt? You're looking confused. Not from the anus hole, but I've seen it drop. That's what he's talking about, from okay. the anus hole. But you've That's not fair. seen it. You just take it on faith that it came out of your butt. It could be a tiny teleportation uh, window that opens up. If you were doing a poo and you had a live feed of your anus, but at the same time nine other people took dumps, would you be able to identify which one was yours from the screen? I think I could. I think so. <clears throat> yeah. No. <laughs> Get, like, guess your mess kind of thing? Oh, there you go. 2023. 2024. Guess your We're mess. already through 2023. 2023 is covered. 2024, guess the mess. In shit, <laughs> guess <apparently>. your mess. <laughs> guess your mess. <laughs> you have to pick your poop out of a lineup. <laughs> I think I could. Yeah. And you can't you you can't know ahead of time. So you can't eat a bunch of corn on the cob the night before. So you get so there's like <laughs> clear tells. Right. Have, have you ever ate only corn for a week to see if there would be any poo? No. Or just be to corn. See if there would be any. Poo. <laughs> like if your poo would start to eventually just resemble corn on the cob. <laughs> yeah. What happens if you just eat corn? Just the center is poo, and the whole surrounding is corn on the cob. You got to bring corn. your own cob. Yeah. Did you see that? Video the guy released uh, last week or the week before where he took a can of corn and then put all the kernels back on a cob to see How much corn is actually in a can of corn? That's uh -huh. brilliant. It and was, how much was it? It was almost two cobs worth. Wow. Oh Did it, they do they put any kind of indication on how many cobs worth it is on the no packaging? No 
It was really interesting to watch. He like very meticulously put every kernel back onto a cob and like glued it on that way he could. Did it look like a thing. healthy like ear of almost, corn at that point? Yeah. Almost. It was close. Okay. You could tell it was a little fucked up. A I little had something uh, the other week for the first time, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Ass. Elote. Elote. Yeah. Elote. It's like corn on the cob, but with mayo and. There could be some cheese in there. Cayenne pepper, maybe? Yeah. Something like that. It's very good. It's good. It looked this awesome. It's a mayo gross. Ugh. I didn't think I would like it, but it honestly just tastes like it's butter. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Where'd you have it at? <clears throat> Disneyland, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. They invented it. Really have you ever had corn smut? You're Hispanic. That's a big thing with your corn people. smut? Yeah. No, I, I go to church. <laughs> It's like a fungus. No, you don't. <laughs> it's like a fungus that grows on corn. Oh that they yeah, make yeah, yeah. Out of. Yeah, yeah. That stuff's good. Have you you've had it? Before? I didn't know that's what it was called. It's supposed to be really good. It's a fucking scary, gross looking. No, corn. Good. You ever look it up? Smut. Look, look up corn smut yeah, on your I, phone. I, I got it. I got an image right here. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. It looks heinous. Yuck. But apparently, it's really good. And there was one restaurant in Austin that had it, but they closed. They run out of smut. I, Maybe. I think they have it at, um, what's the name of that place? There's a place over on the try east side. Um, shit. It's a Mexican, kind of a fancy Mexican restaurant. It's like on, uh, fifth? I used to eat there a lot before, uh, I went vegan. What the fuck is I that place called? I feel like I know Mexican what you're talking place? About. It's on seventh, I think. Is it? Let me look it up real fast. Tacoba? No. It's not Tacoba? That's what I thought you were thinking. Tacoba's no, no, on seventh. No. I can't think of any place on 5th. East 5th, you said. I'm looking it up. <laughs> Damn for me. Uh, Suerte? No. Suerte, that's it. That's Suerte's on 6th. Okay. It's on 6th, okay. Yeah. But that's the place. Suerte yeah. has it? Yeah, they have... Uh, that place is fucking popular and hard to get into. Mm. Yeah, you can make a... If you have, like, apps, you can make a reservation. reservation or you can yeah. call, I guess. Have you guys been to Dip 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 yet? No, but I watched people try to go in there the other night and get turned away because there was, like, a three-hour line while oh. I was waiting to get my Tumble 22. Nice. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I went. It was nice. Yeah, it was good. I, it was heard it's, good. I heard it's too expensive. I didn't like waiting outside at the beginning though. It's freezing. Oh, they made you wait outside? No. Oh, so it's like the little bar bit. And I, I have a friend who went there and said for two people to eat, or three people to eat, there was like 250 bucks. Yeah. Which, for a hot pot, I mean, I just ate at a place in Honolulu that was like eight bucks. It, I, uh, it's probably honestly better. <laughs> Honolulu. Yeah. Um, I will say that everything is like very fresh and very like good quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, the experience itself is very cool. It's and fucking awesome. The like location and the interior of it. The place is beautiful. It's absolutely overpriced. It's hot pot. That stuff should be very cheap. There was a place on uh, over by the the col the university that I wanted to take the AH guys to for lunch, and then it closed unfortunately before. What's it called? Called Little Sheep. Oh, it, I've been it's, there. Uh, it's a chain, but they closed down. So That's too bad. Unfortunately, yeah. But there's other... Apparently, it's chains. a really big chain in China, I believe. I think it's, it's a, like a publicly like, traded company. There was one in Hawaii when I, was, I didn't go to that yeah. one, but yeah, they're everywhere. Hmm. So I guess it's a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. It was all right. Yeah, I like it. Some interesting flavors there. I really enjoyed it. I was really bummed <laughs> to find out they closed down. I was going to bring everybody to it. Mm -hmm. uh, a million dollars, but you have corn smut growing on your genitals. For the next ten years, can I harvest ten and sell years? the corn smut? Because it's like troubles. yeah, but you have to disclose that it came from your like balls and stuff. Oh, that makes it worth way more, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Ten years? No, I'm only going to be using my vagina for the next ten years. Anyway. You don't. You don't have. He said balls. You don't have balls. He's like three million dollars for you. Well, I, I said genitals. Said, oh, you did. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Is it a lot? Maybe when I'm like seventy. <clears throat> I would say it's like hey, hey, full and bulbous after a week. Okay. It doesn't hurt to like harvest it or anything? No. Be but like, after a day, you'll see like the five o'clock. You'll be like, hey, smut you, wanna yeah, smut, you, want, you want to eat some You want to eat some smut? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would do it. How about you? Would you do it? Uh, I'd probably do it. Yeah. I would just stay on top of it, not it's let it get too. Both heavy. would be Keep very good. Uh, yeah. So, like, someone eating your out is completely different at that point? I would assume so, yeah. yeah it's probably tasty. Still smut. By uh, definition. So, uh, th there's been. Like an ongoing thing in Austin. I want to get y'all's opinion on it. I don't know when it happened. Several months ago, it became, I guess, legal for homeless people to set up tents in like public spots, right? So it's like <sighs> this is a big, big sensitive, big deal in Austin. Hot button issue right. in Austin right now. So, yes. uh, like you'll you'll see 
homeless people set up tents like under highways or it's a lot more prominent now than it was before. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 like Skid Row everywhere in Austin. Is that is that no. just cheaper than buying uh, building more homeless shelters? I I think that the reason the city did this is because they wanted to build another shelter down south and uh, the neighborhood where it was going to go really was strongly against it. So I think the city is basically doing a fuck you to the, to everyone. Like, okay, mm -hmm. if you're not going to allow us to build another shelter, then it's everyone's problem. So yeah. that everyone will want to build a shelter down the road. Did you see that? I don't know if it's that neighborhood, but there is a homeless camp that is so large in South Austin. They have a website now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. But Apparently, it's it's like a little mini city. And uh, the state of Texas of which Austin is the capital, is very upset with Austin over this. And our the governor, governor is talking shit about our, our city constantly. Right. And, uh, I mean, so the, the thing that I grapple with is these people were already homeless and living somewhere. Now you just see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's not like there are more people doing this because... Because of this law change. There like, are more people doing it. You think so? Uh, I've read an article that said that people are coming, like homeless people, there are homeless cities that are like homeless beacons, and that when cities relax their uh, their laws like this, it encourages a lot of homeless migration. So, so there's a cities. lot of people, there are a lot of people, and also a lot of cities will do that busing thing. Yeah, that I already they, knew about. I, I mean, that you already know about, but yeah. that stuff increases in frequency, but more so, it's just that like the word is out that Austin's a safe place for homeless people to come, so more people start to migrate here. I, I just feel like we're, we're starting to see more of a sensitivity to it. Like, yes. with that, like those <clears throat> crimes are being reported and focused on more than they were before. I feel I, like that those crimes already existed. I think they're happening in greater numbers. You think so? He, and here's why. <clears throat> I can speak from anecdotal experience. I lived in a condo downtown for two years until last year. I, every night, would go for a one to three hour walk or bike ride. And I would go run a walk around the city unabated without any issue. By the time I left, I would choose not to go out some nights because the previous night had been so sketchy. And that just like getting accosted by angry or uh, aggressive homeless people would, ha would happen. Like if I went out for a two-hour walk, it would happen 8 to 12 times. I feel like... After never happening for years and years, and like 20 years. I feel like it happened to me all the time when we had our office downtown, which was before this. I, I was getting we, accosted we, quite we a, a bit run, anyway. I, yeah. I remember that run you and I had uh, where it was like every day we were seeing homeless people like fighting or making out or whatever. Um, it's definitely worse than it was. Mm -hmm. It's more visible, um, and I think it's just more in your face. I, I, I also think that um, just going off the number of stabbings alone in 2020, like it's been crazy. How many people? Have, there's just like 13 people had been stabbed in Austin in January. Hmm. I want to say, which was like five times the previous that period the previous Last year. year. And, and is it homeless people stabbing? Yeah, like that poor guy. You heard about the dude that died over at Freebirds, right? Yeah. That was a big deal. That was a homeless person? It was a homeless person went into the coffee shop there. I think it's a... That's a... E uh, not Epoch. It's the other one. Uh, used to be Dominican Joe's. Yeah. Now and it's, it's, it's a place on May... They, Benu. They have, yeah, Benu. Somebody walked into a Benu, um, accosted some people. They wrestled them. A cop got involved. The dude broke free from the cop, ran into Freebirds. The, the morning manager was like setting up. Just like get, it was like nine in the morning or yeah. something. Went and stabbed him to death, and then climbed up on a, on the roof and tried to jump off. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, it seems like it's happening constantly. Hmm. It, it, just to me. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm curious <clears throat> to hear it. And that was part of why I was happy to leave downtown because it was getting to the point where like I was like half the the benefit of living downtown is getting to go and explore, go to the hike and bike trail, and like it's just fun. There's like mm -hmm. always restaurants to walk to and stuff, but it just would become a thing where. You just like I didn't want Millie going out at night anymore mm -hmm. because you know she was being uh, accosted and it just it just to the point where I was like ah it just doesn't feel like as safe as it used to yeah mm -hmm. but I I really think that ultimately the city is going to use this to try to build more shelters or another shelter I fucking hope so I These think people need help yeah they're just trying to well I I think the city wanted to but yeah that's just, the other thing too it's it. like it's you lose your sense of compassion really quickly when you know there's like a strange person constantly coming up to your car trying to wash it at every stoplight or, you know, or you're getting constantly harassed. But these are sick people who are in need of help and they're only in your face because our city and our government are not helping them.
Mm -hmm. It fucking sucks. You know, these are a lot of these people are mentally ill, and there's no place to put them. Do they just need to build more like super low income? Housing? Yeah, I think Austin has overall has an affordability problem to begin with. Anyway, like I think what do they and say? An the, occupancy problem. The median cost, the median price for a house went up to three hundred eighty-four thousand dollars. Yeah, I think. So it's like. Is that and, in city limits or? That was in Austin Metro. The Metro, yeah, yeah, the Metro area, okay. which includes you know some of the suburbs, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just so many. Pe it's it's a weird problem where so many people are moving here. There's not enough housing, and it can't be built fast enough. And what is what like rental? Occupancy is like at ninety eight percent or something, yeah, ridiculously high. Like that, there's literally just no place. There's no, go. there's no relief from increasing prices. Damn, dude, it sucks. Just it's, it a, does. it's a tough problem. I think those. I think this homeless issue and uh, this homeless issue slash urban density slash traffic are the three biggest problems facing the city right now. I'd be interested to know which city. In the world, has successfully tackled homeless problems the the most, like cut down the most. I think New York's actually quite good at it. Oh, really? Yeah, in the grand scheme of things. I think what what have they done? I don't know. Uh, I just I know that I've read that there are a lot of cities try to follow their model. I think in uh, Singapore, the government provides housing for all the citizens mm -hmm. as well, like everyone who's there. <clears throat> uh, which isn't to say I think I saw some homeless people when I was there, but I think that most people who are citizens there have an option to have a place to live. I wonder what the median home price is across America, like the national average is. There's probably a way to find compared that Compared to Austin. United States median home I can't price? even imagine. It's just crazy how much it's gone up. When I was a kid. The median home price in the United States as of June 2017 is $200,000. So about twice the... the yeah, we're getting, we're getting to double, double that here. I was, was going to say that sounds low, but then I remember there's a ton of kind of like uh, Small rural towns, areas. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's... You that's you got to go pretty far out in Austin to get a house for three hundred thousand dollars too. I mean, your average three bedroom, two bath, eighteen hundred to twenty two hundred square foot Half house time. in Austin in the city limits is going to be over six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars anywhere yeah. you go. So I mean, roughly most real estate, of, of course, there's exceptions. I'm gonna say in general, real estate in Austin, let's say, is about three hundred twenty five dollars a square foot. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it might be about 300 between 300 325 dollars a square yeah. foot uh, at two hundred thousand dollars that would be 615 square feet so Just you're not going to find a 615 square foot house it's close that's what well, your first house wasn't that much my bigger. first house was <laughs> yeah was like 800 and something right yeah about 800 what's the most feet? expensive realty in the u.s is it san francisco maybe it's san francisco is the most expensive <clears throat> city to live in period um Malibu has some fucking crazy expensive houses. I would think that or a condo in New York, maybe. Or like uh, those multi-million dollar houses in Los Angeles. Or the Hamptons, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Martha's Vineyard. Like one of those, like, one of those neighbor, one of those areas that's so fancy you'll probably never go in your life. There's this, you know? there's a... I mean, you've never heard of it. <clears throat> yeah. There's YouTube videos about, like, people walking through these, like, $8 million, $10 million homes in California. Mm-hmm. That like they're unbelievable, but to think that people could live there, especially like how big is your family? Let's say five people live in one of those houses. It's like you probably don't go to ninety percent of the rooms in this place on a daily basis. Oh yeah, we, it's just it's insane to I, think that anybody could live there. I was on Dude Soup last week, and uh, we talked about how Jeff Bezos had just bought a new house. I think it was a uh, formerly David Geffen's house, and it spent one hundred and sixty-five million dollars on it. Jesus Christ. And they bought another house right after that, right? For like sixty million. I thought it was ninety, but somewhere ninety, there. yeah. Uh, but what kind? Of, how big is that house? One hundred sixty-five million dollars. So someone, so who is it? The Verge did a calculation <clears throat> on it against his that one hundred sixty-five million dollars against his net worth, and said it would be the equivalent if someone made sixty thousand dollars a year, it'd be the equivalent of them spending seventy-five dollars on a house. It's like a little more than buying a video game. 165 million dollar house. That's like when fucking Fantasy Star came out for the Sega Genesis. It cost goddamn 80 dollars, and every other game cost 50. Oh my god! He just bought Fantasy Star, <laughs> and he's living in it. Uh, it's uh, yeah. That's 25, less than a 25 dip, dip, dip. 25 bathrooms, 11 bedrooms, 25 five bedrooms. living rooms, five staircases, three kitchens, two libraries, two workout rooms, two elevators. How many bathrooms? Uh, 25 bathrooms. You it's will a, not. It take a month to in shit every in bathroom in your house. What if you like? 
shit in every bathroom for two weeks. And it's like and you make you a year long rotation. Oh my god. Just think of how expensive it would be to put a total on every one of those. <laughs> he probably is going like to do that. Bucks. I just. I don't get it. Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> just. Like, you have to hire a staff of 200 people to maintain mm -hmm. a property like that. It's 9.4 acres. Fuck in it Beverly shit. Hills. You probably don't even, honestly, you probably don't even hire that staff. The probably the staff probably comes with it. You <laughs> yeah, know? it probably you does. Just, it's, it's like Parasite. Like Do you want to throw in another million for a I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I assume you'd just be like, that's, that's like uh, you pay these people now. Like, yeah. Okay, you now work for me instead of David Geffen. It's insane. Yeah. Who is this? Um... Uh, they're all, Cameron they're all J.E. in chat is saying the median house price in Canada is $400,000 U.S. Well, I don't know if that's true. That's just, oh, there it is. That's just a lot of money. I remember when I was well, a kid, a uh, $150,000 house was a ton of money. Vancouver will definitely up that price. Vancouver is a very expensive city to live in. It's kind of similar to San Francisco, I believe. Toronto, too, is pretty pricey. I mean, yeah, even London sucks. <laughs> that's but true. Buying houses. Oh, yeah. Even the, the neighborhood out just like... Around Rooster Teeth, not counting uh, Mueller because that's new. Mm -hmm. But the area around Rooster Teeth used to be considered kind of shitty, you know, not ghetto. Because it used to be the airport here. Yeah, near the airport, yeah. So it was like, you know, any places near the airport get a lot of noise, and so they're typically not as nice. And I remember you'd, you could buy one of these houses for like a hundred grand. Wow. Ten years ago. Yeah, before I bought. Maybe, well, maybe a little longer. Before Mueller, you could buy one for a hundred grand. Before I bought that tiny house because it was so cheap, I was looking at houses. Right back over here mm -hmm. uh, for that reason. It was like the airport was gone and they were kind of starting to redevelop and do all this stuff. And Mueller was like, yeah, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of cheap right now. That's, that's, I thought the best time to buy it. I looked at one when I was, we were redoing the, we were putting the second floor on that other house. This is like pre-divorce and stuff. When you, you were, well, it was when we went and lived in Hyde Park for a year. Yeah. Uh, I looked at just buying a second house as an investment property and figured we'd just live in that. And the houses here were already like 280 250 mm -hmm. And I just obviously couldn't afford that as an extra house. Um, and now they're they're mid-fours. Higher. Or higher, yeah. It was in Mueller, yeah. Is it no, I don't mean in Mueller. Like even like the oh. neighborhoods over here, like yeah. those streets, they're in the mid mid to high fours. Yeah. Yeah. Is it ever cheaper to buy land and build on it? Or is that always... Yeah. It is cheaper? So, often, yeah. But then you got to deal with that whole fucking process. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm someone who gets I get a uh, Zillow emails every day just mm -hmm. for fun. I just like looking at houses, so I feel also, like if I you've know, ever said the word Zillow out loud, you'll have Zillow messages for the rest of your life. There's no getting it. Oh, like, that's true. I've, <laughs> I've, I've thought about getting my real estate license just yeah. so I can let myself into houses because I like looking at them. Me too. I'm so nosy. Whenever I see like open house signs oh, yeah. when I'm driving around Austin, I'm like. Do you, do you have to sell a house, house every so often to keep that <laughs> license? Like, could you go five years with never selling a house? But uh, I go to open houses so much that some of the realtors recognize me. They'd be I'm, like, oh, you saw, I saw you at the house. I was like, yeah, yep, that was me. Still looking. Just, do you, like, I, say... I, I, tell, I tell them, like, I just like, I just like going to open houses. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like, I'm not going to eat your food. Or, like, if you say, like, I'm not, I just want to look at the house. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Cool. I mean, it's probably good for them because you could, if someone's looking for a house, you could tell them about houses you've been to. Yeah. Potentially. If you yeah. want me to tell you about houses, <laughs> come to RTX this summer, like July third to fifth. I'll help you find a house and move to Austin. <laughs> show you the homeless people downtown. I It'll also be great. Three hundred fifty grand. I, I love people also saying what the median price is in the countries that they live in, and it's also right typically there. much higher. I think it's also not as common to buy a, a home in other countries as it is in America. Oh, it's, it's, a uniquely it's like the American, American dream, the right? American dream, which was manufactured in the fifties, uh, right? But uh, it's not as common a thing. Every like. I know, maybe maybe you have you guys both have perspective of not mm -hmm. being from America, but like when you're raised mm -hmm. in America, you're raised with the idea that to succeed in life, you will have a job and own a home and then build a family. I think in Canada's that home. pretty similar, is it? Yeah, but I mean, we have a lot of similarities between the two. Countries, I guess we're so. very close. I, I was raised being told that I will be living with my parents until I'm in my thirties. In America, you get the fuck <laughs> out at eighteen. Well, because it's just it's too expensive to unless you live with like eight other people. Yeah. It's very rare that you could just go and buy a house. It's nuts. Yeah. I All think right. it's pretty similar. Well, it's about time to wrap this up. All right. All right. So, uh, good thanks pancakes. For, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed your pancakes at home. We enjoyed them here. I'm um, not, no, no. Spicy. Uh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to pump Gavin's stomach on the post show. So, <laughs> if you're first member, stick around for that. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.